is Rod Genders, and I'm a specialist lawyer at the oldest law firm in South Australia, Genders and Partners. Today I'm going to tell you how you can avoid a costly family catastrophe by protecting yourself, your family and your assets using modern integrated ethical estate planning. You're about to discover the hidden truth about wills and estate planning things that the big insurance and trustee companies don't want you to know. This is knowledge and strategies that your family need you to understand right now. Without the correct legal protection mechanisms in place, you and your family are at risk. If you don't make sure that the right people have the right power at the right time, you know what's going to happen. The wrong people will get the power. And if you're not careful, your hard-earned assets could wind up in the hands of creditors and predators, litigators, gold diggers, or even the government. So I'm going to share with you some real home truths that some very big companies don't want you to know. So let's get started. There are a number of categories of potential will catastrophes that you need to be aware of. Most people simply don't plan ahead. They don't like to think about their own mortality or about the bad things that could happen to them or their family. But by doing nothing, they're choosing to be unprepared. You can't apply for insurance after the disaster has already struck. So if you don't put your affairs in order now, it will be too late. Failing to plan is just the same as planning to fail. So if you don't change anything, how will tomorrow be any different than today? So these potential will catastrophes, there are five broad categories that we commonly see in legal practice. The first is where a person has no will at all. The next is where they've tried to do it themselves. Then they've gone to a trustee company. They haven't got their plan fully integrated and they haven't kept their plan up to date. Those are the five broad categories. Let's have a look at each in some detail. Every adult Australian needs a legal will. Some people might think that they're too young or that they don't have enough assets. In fact, most of us nowadays are worth more dead than alive because of our superannuation and life insurance. And it is very important that you understand that a will isn't only about assets. There are also legal rights and responsibilities that attach to a person's estate that can only be dealt with through a legal will. Without a will, the government of the state where you die will determine who receives your estate. Every state and territory in Australia has its own statutory formula for how to divvy up your assets after you're gone in the absence of a will. And these statutory formula vary from time to time and from place to place and probably won't be who you would expect or want to inherit your assets. The next category is the do-it-yourself will. These are just expensive stationery. You can buy them from stationery, stationery supply companies, post offices, or you can download them from the internet. Be very careful. Those are just blank forms. There's no legal advice. There's no careful consideration of your personal circumstances. There's no backup or support. Check the fine print on those forms. You'll find that every single one of them contains a disclaimer that recommends you should take legal advice before committing your affairs to their forms. Don't do it. It is very easy to make serious legal mistakes with those forms. And any errors that you make won't become apparent until after you're gone. And then it's too late for you to correct them. It'll be left to your family, who has to deal with the mess and the heartache, trying to fix up the mistakes that you made. And it's very expensive to try to fix those mistakes. It might not even be possible. Some people might say, well, I'll go and get a free will from a trustee company. The catch with that is that all those trustee companies have a business model that requires you to appoint them as the executor of your estate and that allows them to charge a percentage of your estate as their fee. It's a commission. That turns out to be many thousands of dollars more 
than a specialist lawyer would charge for the same work. There's no such thing as a free lunch, so their free will isn't such a bargain after all. Be careful. The next problem area is where people haven't kept their documents up to date. These are not set and forget documents. You don't just create a will and throw them in a drawer for the rest of your life. New laws, surprising court decisions and frequent changes to the tax and super regulations are happening all the time. Your family needs you to stay on top of these developments to keep your estate plan effective. Any significant life changes like divorce, job changes, inheritance, second marriage, stepkids, long-term illness, they'll all affect your plans. And the older your will is when you die, the more likely it is to lead to problems after you're gone. Don't fool yourself. Don't keep risking your family's future by putting this off, or you and your family will end up regretting it and paying for the consequences. So, what should you do? Well, the solution is actually quite straightforward. You need to create a modern integrated estate plan. Contact us at Genders and Partners Solicitors in South Australia and we can help you to take control of your own affairs and put them in order. And that will help you to protect yourself and your assets and your family. We have a variety of plans available. They're not expensive and there are payment options available. They're better value than the commission-based trustee companies and much more effective and less expensive than trying to fix the mistakes from your bodgy, dodgy, do-it-yourself documents. So a modern integrated estate plan generally requires that you get yourself organized, take professional advice from a specialist lawyer, create an integrated plan and keep it up to date. Let's drill into this in a little more detail. Getting organized means locating the relevant documents and financial and legal papers that you already have in your life. Now you might not know what's important, you might not know how it's been registered or titled, but that's where the specialist advice comes in. A lawyer specializing in estate planning will advise you about the tools and techniques that you can and should be using to protect yourself and your family and your assets. You need to know how your assets will be controlled in the event of your illness or incapacity. Because estate planning isn't just about a will and what happens after you're dead. It also relates to what happens to your assets and who's going to control them while you're still alive, but when you're older, you might need some assistance. Medical science is getting more and more clever at keeping us alive for a longer period, but towards the end of our lives, we tend to need increasing assistance. If you lose the ability to make decisions in your own best interests, you'll need assistance to make decisions regarding a variety of very important matters and that's where a modern integrated estate plan can step in. If you are in business or you have activities in your life that uh, put you at risk for creditors and predators then it's entirely probable that you want to control assets that you don't own in your own name and this is also part of modern asset protection and estate planning. Your family really needs you to know about things like joint tenancy, binding death benefit nominations, enduring power of attorney, advanced care directive, guardianship of children. They'll also want you to know about things like testamentary trusts, discretionary trusts, death duties, blended families, and how to organize and manage your estate. These are things that a specialist lawyer dealing all the time in estate planning and deceased estates administration, elder law, succession law, these are specialty areas of law and we can assist you to put together a proper integrated plan. A will alone is simply not enough. You need to coordinate all aspects of your legal, financial 
and medical affairs because you need to plan for later in your life not just when you're dead. This is where an enduring power of attorney for legal and financial matters comes into play so that you can appoint one or more agents to act for you and make decisions for you and sign documents for you of a legal or financial nature if you're unable to do so for yourself. And an advanced care directive does a similar job but for different reasons. So it can handle things like accommodation decisions and lifestyle, health care choices, medical treatment decisions so that you can appoint one or more substitute decision makers under an advanced care directive. These are things that you really need to put into place as part of your modern integrated estate plan. When you die or become incapacitated, formal legal procedures will occur whether you want them to or not. If your estate planning documents are more than about two or three years old at the time the emergency arises, they may be more likely to be challenged by other people at a point in your life when you can't do anything about it. So it's very important to keep your estate plan documents up to date. So what to do now? You should contact us, Genders and Partners Solicitors, South Australia, to request a free telephone consultation with a senior lawyer specialising in wills and estate planning. We'll tell you how you can claim your free copy of our book, Seven Things You Must Know Before You Make Your Will. We're very approachable. You can telephone us, text us, email us, or send us a letter. We look forward to helping you and your family, and we offer a nine-way money-back satisfaction guarantee. We don't know of any other lawyers in Australia who offer this powerful satisfaction guarantee. Genders and Partners Solicitors, we look forward to helping you. Mm -hmm.